The animal of the day, April 27th, is the cane toad or the binomial name Ranella marina. Type, true toad. Diet class, omnivore. Average lifespan, 5 to 10 years in the wild. Size, 4 to 6 inches or 10.2 to 15.2 centimeters in length. Weight, 0.5 to 1.8 pounds or 0.2 to 0.8 kilograms. Population status currently April 27, 2025, least concern. Population estimate, unknown, native lands, Central and South America. Primary habitat, grasslands, savannas, forest edges and farmlands. Main predators, crows, hawks, goannas, variegated pythons, freshwater crocodiles, quolls and other predators. Dial activity, nocturnal. Species age, at most 14 million years old. Collective noun, a knot, notes. The cane toad, also known as the giant neotropical toad or the marine toad, is a large, poisonous, terrestrial species of true toad native to South and mainland Central America, but is notoriously known for its introduction to various islands throughout Oceania and the Caribbean. Because of the cane toad's voracious appetite, it was introduced to the mentioned regions as a method of agricultural pest control, specifically for the cane beetle which damages sugar cane. However, the toad is now considered to be a pest and an invasive species in many introduced regions. Since 2016, cane toad populations native to Mesoamerica and northwestern South America are sometimes considered to be a separate species, Ranella horribilis. The cane toad is the largest species of true toad, reaching up to 9.4 inches or 23.9 centimeters in length and up to 5.8 pounds or 2.6 kilograms, with females being significantly longer than males. The cane toad has dry and warty skin, distinct ridges above the eyes that run down the snout and individuals can be gray, yellowish, red-brown or olive-brown with varying patterns and the ventral surface is cream-colored and may have blotches in shades of black or brown. The cane toad's eyes have horizontal pupils, golden irises and possesses a large parotid gland behind each eye and their toes bear fleshy webbing at the base with the fingers being free of webbing. Juvenile cane toads, as well as tadpoles, lack the large parotid glands so they are usually less poisonous and juveniles possess smooth, dark skin, although some individuals can have a red wash. Despite their common name marine toad suggesting a marine life, they do not actually live in the sea. However, experiments suggest that tadpoles are able to tolerate salt concentrations equivalent to 15% of seawater, and wild tadpoles and toadlets have been found in salinities of 27.5% on Coiba Island in Panama. Female cane toads will lay eggs in long strings of jelly in a body of water, with a female laying 8,000 to 25,000 eggs at once with a string able to stretch up to 66 feet or 20.1 meters in length. Although native to the Americas, the cane toad has been introduced to many places where it is commonly an invasive species such as Australia, Florida, Papua New Guinea, the Philippines, the Ogasawara, Ishigaki Island and the Daitu Islands of Japan, Taiwan, most Caribbean islands, Fiji and many other Pacific islands including Hawaii. Most frogs identify prey through movement, which the cane toad also utilizes as its primary hunting method, but it can also locate food using its sense of smell. The cane toad will consume a wide range of food items such as small rodents, other small mammals, reptiles, other amphibians, birds, bats, and invertebrates such as ants, beetles, earwigs, dragonflies, grasshoppers, true bugs, crustaceans and gastropods as well as plants, dog food, cat food, feces, and household refuse. The skin of the adult cane toad is toxic in addition to the enlarged parotid glands behind the eyes, plus other glands across its back. When threatened, the cane toad will secrete a milky white fluid known as bufotoxin, which is toxic to many animals including humans through consumption. 
and dogs are especially prone to being poisoned by licking or biting these toads with excessive drooling, extremely red gums, head shaking, crying, loss of coordination, and or convulsions are often a result of the bufotoxin among animals. Bufotenin, one of the chemicals excreted by the cane toad, is classified as a Schedule 9 drug under Australian law, alongside heroin and LSD, with the effects thought to be similar to those of mild poisoning which includes mild hallucinations, often lasting for less than an hour. The cane toad will excrete bufotenin in small amounts, whereas the other toxins are excreted in relatively large quantities, with toad licking likely resulting in serious illness or death. In addition to releasing toxins, the cane toad is also able to inflate its lungs, puffing it up and lifting its body off the ground to appear taller and larger to potential predators. Many predators, both native and non-native, have adapted to prey upon both adult and juvenile cane toads despite their toxicity. These predators include saw-shelled turtles, broad-snouted caimans, freshwater crocodiles, water monitors and goannas which specifically avoid adults but still remain cautious of their toxicity, although goannas have developed a tolerance or resistance to the toxins. Crows, kookaburras, ibises, whistling kites, papuan frogmouths, and tawny frogmouths also primarily go for the juveniles and tadpoles, although crows and whistling kites will intentionally flip the toads onto their back to avoid the toxic glands. Recall the Australian water rats, black rats, opossums, and coals with the black rats and coals mainly consuming juveniles, while opossums possess a resistance to the toxins and recalli will use the same method as crows and whistling kites. Variegated pythons, tiger snakes, red-bellied black snakes, and death adders will mainly avoid adults and go for juveniles. Meat ants are immune to the toxins of cane toads and will consume them. And finally, killifish, rock flag tails, catfish, and eels will mainly prey upon the tadpoles. Every day is a new animal, so subscribe for more.